Just as a recap, this is the crackle glaze that I use from Matisse. It gives a beautiful crackle finish. Now this has been dry for several days, so it's not going to get any better than this. And I think it's pretty spectacular. And then this is the um, medium that I had just found. It's called Black Flint Texture Gel from Windsor Newton. And you can see it here with just clear gel medium. And then I have an acrylic color here. The next thing that I want to look at is tar gel. And tar gel is kind of an interesting product. Um, I find its use limited, but it, nonetheless, it's still a very interesting product. Um, it's kind of syrupy, and it just likes forming these long strings. And it can be mixed in small quantities or in large jar quantities. And it tends to like to level itself. Uh, it does dry transparent, and it is a very, very interesting uh, material. Um, I'm going to, again, <coughs> use a premixed color. Uh, in this case, it's going to be a light turquoise. And it doesn't take a lot of color. And blend it well. Now, the thing with this is to try and not incorporate any air into the material. So it's a very nice, slow process of trying to do a blend. If you get air into the product you want to be very careful about how you apply it because those air bubbles will show up. Now it can be dripped and this may take a little while and you can see it has kind of a big gloppiness to it and it, but it does make strings or it can be applied directly with a knife and what I like about it is the way it forms a solid area, but then these areas I really, really like with the uh, the kind of breaking apart, and I think it gives a, a kind of a nice finish to it. So that's tar gel. One of the next gels we're going to be looking at is going to be the string gel, and then we've already shown you a video of the spider web gel. So this is uh, just one more tool in your arsenal. Back later. Several more mediums I want to look at. One of them is the pearl iridescent medium. The other is a product called Liquithick, and it will take almost any uh, liquid acrylic and turn it into a paste. Uh, it's really a fascinating product. Um, the tools again are my palette knife, my wet brush, paper towels, and a pigment. So uh, again, I'm going to use a little bit of the uh, turquoise and if I take the turquoise straight it's just a turquoise but if I take a little bit of the pearl medium and mix with it it gives it a whole new life a life all of its own and it's going to give it a whole different finish when it's when it's dry so I wanted you to see this because I think it has some effects that can be very, very charming and rather delightful. So I'm going to take uh, my brush, I'm going to clean this off the palette knife, grab some of this, and I think you can possibly, yes, you can see that pearl finish. And I think it gives a very nice effect. Um, works for me. So with that, I think... I'd also like to take this relatively thin um, product, add some liquid thicks to it, and see how it starts gumming up and starts getting thick. That's the whole product identity on this one. And again, I can take it with my brush, and this time I'm going to get brush strokes in it, or if um, if I grab it with my palette knife, I'm going to get a nice finish to it. That's Liquithix. And it is a Liquithix product, and it does work very well. I'm very impressed with it. It makes it nice and thick. Another product that is kind of interesting is called Matte Opaque Extender. And this is just a paste, and it doesn't change the opacity, it just extends the color without 
altering it very much where if you were using a gel medium the gel medium might um, cause the paint to uh, become more transparent this does not this will keep the opacity working and I will show these to you when they dry it's not going to change the transparency much but if you have an opaque color it will extend that opacity uh, right on through to the end of the piece so we'll come back and take a look at these when they're dry